Hey there, my name is Drew Brashler, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to do a virtual sound check using the built in Wing Live card on your Behringer Wing. If you're brand new to my channel, I'm all about helping you feel more confident in your production gear no matter where you're starting from. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now, the Behringer Wing has an expansion card called the Wing Live card, and it has two SD card slots on it. Now, the SD card slots on this accepts an SD HC card, and with that card, it's recommended that it's class 10 or faster. If it's not a class 10, then it's not going to be fast enough to process the audio. But with those two cards, you can record 32 channels per SD card. So once you put in the SD cards into the back of the slot, you can click this button right here on the screen. And then we can see that we have card one and card two. And we can link these cards by pressing the link. And this is how we can get to 64 channels of recorded audio on the cards. If it's not linked, then we have 32 channels on this card and 32 channels on this card. Now, when you insert the cards first, what you'll want to do is you'll want to hit the settings button and then you'll want to format each card. After you've done that, you will have blank, a blank card and a blank slate here. So I have a set of audio that's more than 32 tracks. So I'm going to go ahead and link these cards right now. The next thing that we need to do is we need to copy down our routing that we have for our channels. Now I have in my routing here, if we go to my channels, I have all of my audio coming in from my USB player, which is from my computer. I'm going to be using some new tracks today. So I am going to be recording my audio from my computer. Now this could also be from a AES 50. So if all of your tracks or all of your channels are coming in from AES 50A or B or a combination of all of those, you'll want to note where all of your routing is coming from and you'll want to copy that routing to the card. So to set the destination audio going into your Wing Live card, you'll want to go ahead and press outputs and then you'll want to navigate to our W Live record. Once you're here, you can click on the first channel and this is where we are going to copy over our audio routing that we had from our channels. So in my case, this is going to be coming from USB audio. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to copy all of these to my Wing Live card. Now you'll notice that I only have 47 channels that I'm recording, but there's all the way up to 64 channels that we can record into this card, which is really awesome. So once you have that done, you can go ahead and press up here. And when you start playing audio, you will see the meters going. Now I'm going to go ahead and press play on my computer and I kind of come back over here and hit record. So we can see that it's starting the session and it is now recording. Now when you're done recording, we can go ahead and press stop. And then this will finalize the session. Now you'll notice that I have 32 gig cards in here, and I have about roughly one hour and 25 minutes of recording time that I have for those two cards. Now because we're linking them together, that is 64 channels of audio. Now the session that is recorded on these cards is going to be a specific format that's recorded onto the SD card and it is a 32 channel WAV file. Now you can download live sessions down from Behringer's website and you can actually extract those 32 channel WAV files out into individual tracks. But that file will give you up to an hour and 24, 25 minutes roughly for a 32 gig card and at 48 kilohertz. So the file is going to be recorded in the sample rate that your console is currently set to. And you will need to be in that sample rate for being able to play back those files. Now that we have this recorded, I'm wanting to set the routing so that I can play back from my Wing Live card into my channels. 
And to do that, we can go ahead and press routing. But the trick is that on the Behringer wing, I have not only a main input, but I also have an alt input. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to set my expansion card to play back on the alt inputs. And that way I can do a global change between the main and the alt inputs to do a live virtual sound check anytime I want to. So to do this, I'm gonna go to routing and I'm going to go to my channels. And instead of choosing my main channel input, I'm going to choose my alt. And then I'm going to go pull up my wing live playback and I'm going to start routing this. Make sure to unlock and make sure that plus one auto is checked and I'm going to start routing. Now that I have that done, I can press home and if I want to play back my audio and I just need to switch my entire console to be on alt. So I'm going to press setup and then go to audio and I can do my input selection to be on alt. Now what that's done is that's changed all of my channels to be on the alternate input. At this point, I can go back to my card and press play. And now we are playing back the audio from my card. And I can do anything that I want to here. I can solo up anything on this as if I was mixing with the band up on stage. Once I'm done mixing, I can press stop, and then I can go back to setup and switch back my inputs to being on main, and now I'm ready to take my inputs from the stage and do a full show if I want to. One thing to note about the navigation inside of the Wing Live playback is that if I press play, I have the ability of adding a marker. Now that marker can be a spot that I pull up every single time. So for instance, if the verse started right here, I could go ahead and press this and add that marker. And then later, if I want to, I can just go back and press this marker and it will replay that section again and again every time I press this. Once we press stop, we have the ability of changing our position of our playback head. So if I wanted to start at 51 seconds, I can now press play and I could create a marker right here. And so then when we have multiple markers here, I can go and press any of them and play back from those markers. I hope this video was helpful for you. I find that doing a virtual sound check is a perfect way for preparing for a weekend, a large show, a big event, etc. What you can do is during that rehearsal or during that practice, go ahead and hit record. And then once the band is done and off stage, when the room is empty, you can play back and have all of your audio playing through the PA just like if the band was on stage. Now the one thing to be careful of is if you happen to push your vocal compression too much, on your playback from the cards and then you switch back to being from live is that might cause some more feedback. So just be careful about the adjustments that you're going to make. Now one other thing to mention is the record for this is directly at the input. So this is not post any of your processing. So when you are doing a recording, you are recording from that input coming off of the stage box. So any of the processing that you're doing is going to be post the recording. So when you press record on your SD card, you are getting the original audio, which is perfect because we wanna be able to make adjustments during our live sound check. Now if you do happen to have any questions or if there's a video that you're hoping that I would make on really of any of the production mixers that are out there, please put that in comment section down below as I'm always reading through those comments to find videos that are gonna be helpful for you. If you haven't already, make sure to check out my website at drewbrashler.com where I have a channel preset download for your Behringer Wing where I have put all of my favorite settings for all of the different instruments that are out there from drums, guitars, keys, and I've put those into a downloadable channel preset set that you can buy and download and put on your Behringer wing. So make sure to go check that out at drewbrashler.com. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day.